When one hears the word migration, the common thing to imagine is something along the lines of a flock of geese flying in formation heading south for the winter. However, what most people don't know is that more than just birds migrate. In fact, this creature is as far from a bird as you can get. The whale. One of the most famous of the migratory whales is the gray whale found along the coasts of California, Mexico, and Alaska. These aptly named behemoths have such a wide range of living for a reason. Every year the gray whale takes part in the longest known migration of any mammal on the face of the earth. During the winter, they can be found in low latitude, warmer waters near northern Mexico to breed. They remain in this area from December through April to give their newborns a better chance of survival while they are still developing their thick layer of blubber to keep them warm. All whales develop this blubber when they are young, some more than others, but still it provides the warmth needed to keep the warm-blooded mammals warm when living in waters that remain just above freezing for a large portion of the year. One of the most impressive displays of blubber growth from whales belongs to the well-known blue whale, the largest living creature ever to have walked, or in this case, swam on Earth. All have to begin as calves, just like the rest of their cetacean cousins. These newborns are, of course, massive to begin with, but related to their mothers and fathers are just fractions of their size, weighing in at only 5,000 to 6,000 pounds. However, as they leave the breeding grounds in warmer, more tropical waters, the calves ravenously consume about 50 gallons of fat-rich milk a day. This results in a weight gain of up to 10 pounds of blubber an hour, or nearly 250 pounds a day. This rapid growth allows the calf to double in size in just six months of age and is then weaned. The milk is replaced by massive quantities of krill that is captured in its thick baleen. Returning to our gray whales, the mother and calf begin to travel north along the coast of California. This path can be as long as 6,000 miles long and yet all gray whales perform this amazing journey every single year. Along the way, they face the dangers of their only predator, the orca whale. These black and white killers have developed a technique to hunt gray whale calves by jumping on top of the mother as she attempts to keep her baby out of the water and therefore out of harm's way. By sliding the adolescent whales off her back, they can then hold the calf underwater and wait for it to drown. Not all whales of the same species follow the same paths like the gray whale does. While all gray whales can be found along this migratory trail during nearly every point of their lives, species such as the humpback whale are different. Due to the seasonal differences between the northern and southern hemisphere, whales that can be found throughout the entire ocean, such as the humpback whale, travel along different paths at different times. In fact, these paths are so different that it is thought that humpback whales from the southern hemisphere and those from the northern hemisphere never actually meet, and therefore never breed. Regardless of the danger of orcas, our gray whale friends press onwards and eventually find their way to high latitude, cooler waters in northern Alaska. Here they will feast on massive amounts of krill from April through November in an attempt to gain enough weight for the journey back south and to make enough milk for the next calf as the new year begins and the migration is performed yet again. The natural ability for whales to find their way across massive spans of water without a guide is still somewhat a mystery. It can be argued that the whales sense various changes in water quality, such as temperature and salinity. Another hypothesis is that of magnetoception, or the theory that some animals to some degree have the ability to sense magnetic fields in the earth 
and can orient themselves to whatever direction they need to be traveling in, similar to a whale's internal compass. It has been observed in vertebrates including birds, turtles, sharks, and stingrays, but whale migration, on the other hand, is still a question that has yet to be completely answered.